Hi, and welcome back to Basic Bar Program today. We're glad that you're tuning in, and uh, hopefully these episodes find a blessing in your life that help you to be more like Jesus Christ every day. And that's our goal, to be more like Him. I know uh, I tell my church this all the time where I pastor, uh, that it doesn't matter what you do on Sundays and Wednesdays, but what you do every day of your life that counts. And hopefully every day that you're living for God, and hopefully every day that you're drawing closer and closer to Jesus Christ. Uh, we need to. We need to draw closer to Him because we're living in a time that we need Him more now than ever. As you look at this world, uh, I think um, Thessalonians said, Paul said it best in, in Timothy as well as in Thessalonians, and Peter also, uh, the great apostle Paul, Peter said, that we're living in perilous time. We're living in the last days, and, and if we need God more than now than uh, ever, it's now than when we need God. So hopefully you draw closer to God each and every day. And today we're going to be beginning, uh, I'm going to read a passage in John chapter 15, uh, the great apostle John in chapter 15, verse 1, it says, I am the true vine, my father is the husband, each branch uh, in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. Uh, it's, and let me stop right here and, in, and in, invert something in this. Uh, every branch that, that bringeth not fruit, he taketh away. Uh, it's more than just uh, it's more than just going to church. It's more than just knowing of God. It's more uh, than just uh, just saying that you know of God and that you're a mer- uh, being a part of God. We got to bring forth fruit. Uh, if we don't bring forth fruit, then He's going to take the branch away. He's going to He He's going to cut us out. And every branch that bringeth forth fruit, He purges and bringeth forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the world which I've spoken to you. Abide in Me, and I in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit in itself except it by in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth fruit, but not just fruit, much fruit. Uh, for without me ye can do nothing. Without Jesus Christ, we're nothing. I'm glad that we need him. If a man abide not in him, he cast uh, fruit or he cast forth as, as a branch with withered, and the men gathered them and cast them in the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done to you. Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so ye can be, or be, so you may be my disciples. And I want to talk to you a couple different uh, on a couple different things here in this passage. I'm not sure what way we'll go. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about staying connected to Jesus Christ. If we're going to be anything in this world, we've got to be connected. And we, the only way that we can be connected is if we stay abiding in Him. Abiding means to continue without change, to abode or to, to stay the same, to remain steadfast. And it doesn't matter what comes in your life, you're going to stay the same. There's a lot of people out there, and I hate to say this, they're wishy-washy. When things of life come their way, uh, they're Christians when everything's okay, and then after, after the storms of life come, the next thing they're out and about, and they don't even know if they're Christians anymore. But that's not what Jesus Christ wants us to be. He wants us to remain the same. He wants us to have an anchor cast in Him, that no matter what storms of life bring, we stay the same. And Because we know that he, He's our God, He's our comfort, He's there to, to lead us and direct us and guide us. And uh, in order to be what God wants us to be, there's a few things that uh, that we have to we have to stay connected in. We have to stay connected, and you can't be an island in yourself and be a child of God. It's not going to happen. Uh, very very true statement that it, uh, without God in, in the scripture I just read you, we're nothing. Without Him, we can't do anything. And uh, I know a lot of people think that they can make the heaven on their ho- their own and. God bless them, and I hope it works out good for them. But that's not what the Bible tells me. The Bible tells me that I need Jesus Christ. The Bible tells me that He is the way, the truth, and the life. And without Him, I can't make heaven my home. I need Jesus Christ. So if I'm going to be a child of God, and I'm going to be productive as a child of God on this earth, and I'm going to win souls to the kingdom, and I'm going to be fruitful, then i got to stay connected. i got to stay connected to Him. But more importantly, if I going to be saved, and if you're going to be saved, making it more personal, you've got to stay connected. Before we can help anybody else to Christ, we got to make sure that we're connected to Jesus Christ. And if we're not connected to Jesus Christ, then we're going to be in a world of hurt at the end of time. We're going to lose out with Jesus Christ. We're going to we're not going to be what Jesus wants us to be, and and we're not going to 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 be. Uh, the greatest uh, Christian out there. So we've got to make sure that we stay connected. And one of the first ways that we can stay connected is we've got to have a communication 
Well, we've got to talk to Jesus Christ. You need to have an altar in your life. Uh, not, not, not the one at the church. <laughs> you need to have an altar in your house where you can find a place alone that you can pray and talk to God. If we're going to stay connected to God, that's the first thing. you got to talk to God. you got to say, hey, God, this is me. This is your child. This is your servant. Now I'm here. Uh, lead me, direct me, guide me. What, what can I do of service for you today? How can I be, how can I be more like you? What do I need to be to be a part of your kingdom? A lot of times we ask God, we pray, we, we seek God's counsel, then, then before God can answer back, we leave the conversation. you got to realize uh, communication is two ways. Uh, we send it to God, God sends it back to us. And if you're not going to be a child of God, just send it, keep sending it to God and don't get nothing back. You're not going to be a child of God because you're not going to know what He expects of you. You're not going to have that connected power, that connected source that will lead you, that will direct you, that will guide you. And, uh, and, that, and that's what the Word of God says. When we get the Holy Ghost and we get God's Spirit living in us, it'll lead us and direct us and guide us into all truth. And uh, it'll show us the way that we need to, 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 to go, to be a part of. Uh, and if you think you can do it without God, good luck, because it's not going to happen. Uh, we need Him. We need Him to be a part of our kingdom. We need, him to, or be, we need to be a part of His kingdom, but we need Him to be a part of us so we can be a part of His kingdom. Because, like I said, without Him we're nothing. Uh, you can think you're, you're all kind of stuff, but without Him, uh, you're just dead as a doornail spiritually. He, he's our life source. And if we don't have Him in our life, then, then we're going to dry up spiritually. We're going we're gonna to die. Uh, because why? Without Him we're nothing. We're just an old piece of dirty clay. We're just an old piece of human flat flesh that's one of these days going to die and when it dies it's going to rot and uh, without Jesus Christ then we have no hope of heaven we have no hope of a new place to go to be with him and uh, he's our life source we need to stay connected to him and the only way we can do that is when we talk to him and communicate to him and uh, I know the only time a lot of people talk to God is uh, sadly say it's probably when they're in church but the fact of the matter is and I'll say this again and I've said this several times on this episode it's daily living for God it's something that we need to do daily we need to talk to God daily and uh, live for him daily and if you think the only time you need to talk to God at church you're sadly mistaken you're probably going to find you yourself going down a bad path that will probably cause you to lose out with God will probably cause you to end up in the flames of hell and I know you don't hear that much but there's two options that we're going to spend eternity either heaven or hell there's no in between that I find in the word of God anywhere and that's not me that's the word of God so we got to stay connected and uh, I got something here I want to do real fast I thought I had a little bush above my head there that I can use uh uh, being connected, a uh, little, little thing here that we can use for being connected. It's like this little thing, I, of course it's dead anyway, it's fake and it's, it, it's not alive, but this little bud that I, that I picked off that flake flower above my head there uh, that was my mother-in-law, so I left it in here when I obtained this office, and uh, it's got sentimental values, so that's why I'll leave it up there. Uh, but I, I picked this off of that bush, and we're the same way. Uh, our lives are the same way with Jesus Christ. Uh, we, we think we can do it all alone. We're just like this little flower once I picked it off that bush. But what we really don't understand is we may blossom and bloom for a few for a few days without uh, being connected. The, the same with this. If it was real, it'd blossom and bloom for, uh, or blossom and stay, uh, not bloom, but blo- uh, look as good as it does uh, for a few days. Then, then, then the next thing it becomes, it becomes wilted. And then the next thing it does, it becomes dead. It's why? It's because it's lost its life source. It's lost the place where it gets its nutrients. It's lost its place where it gets its vitamins. And we're the same way with God. If we're not connected to God, we're like this little bud that I picked. Uh, we think we look good. We think we're doing good. But really, the only thing we're doing, we're dying from the inside out. And, uh, and, and we're going to end up losing out with God because we're not connected to the thing that gives us the spiritual uh, vitamins, the spiritual water, the spiritual nutrients that we need uh, to, be, uh, to be productive as a child of God. And uh, a lot of times uh, people think that, uh, uh, that uh, as long as they're close, if the tree was here and I, and I put this bush, this little uh, flower beside it or the plant, it, it doesn't matter. Just because it's beside it, it's still going to die because it's not a part of it. You can, you can know God. You can be uh, close to God per se. But if you're not connected to God, you're, you're still going to die. There, there's no hope. And uh, we've got to make sure that we stay connected to Jesus Christ. And the only way we can do that is one, well, not the only way, but one way is by prayer. We need to pray. We need to talk to God. We need to get in contact with God daily and say, God, 
What, what do you need me to do? What, what, what's wrong with my life? What, what do I need to change? I want to, be, I want to be saved. I want to be what you need me to be. And the only way you can do that is get connected. And when you get connected, that's when the life source comes to back. Uh, and uh, we need to be connected to Jesus Christ. Uh, because the Bible says in John chapter 6, verse 33, For the, uh, bread, uh, for the bread of God is He who come down out of the heavens and give life to the world. He's our life. Jesus Christ is our life. Without Him, we are nothing. Without Him, we are lost. Without Him, we have no forgiveness of sins. Without Him, we have no hope. We have no... Um, we have nothing. Uh, so we've got to make sure that we get connected. The first way is we have to get connected to the Word of... or through prayer. The second thing that I, that I think that we need to, in order to connect to God and be what God needs us to be and be a part of God's kingdom is we need the Word of God. Without this... You can't be a child of God. Without this in your life, you can't be a Christian. Without this uh, in your life, you can't be what God wants you to be because this is God's voice. This is God's uh, uh, written voice to us today as believers to follow. And if we don't, uh, if we don't read and study it, then they're not, we're not being connected to the plan of God. And uh, and I try to read and study my Bible and I, uh, as if. if Every day, and as you probably can't see it, but you can see how I got mine marked up. It's okay to mark in your Bible. It's okay to make footnotes because God wants you to, to know His Word. He wants you to understand His Word. But it, it comes back to this. Just because you have a Bible doesn't mean you're connected. It's just like this little plant laying beside the bush or laying beside the plant. It's there, but it's not connected. You got to read, you got to study, you got to understand the Word of God. That's why Timothy, Paul told Timothy, study to show thyself approved. We have to have the Word of God. If we're going to be connected to God, not only do we need to talk to Him, then we got to have the Word of God. Not, and then when we get the Word of God, you got to read it, study it. Once we read and study it, we got to allow the Word of God to work on us. To, to make us more like Him, to, to make us a better child of God. And uh, it's, it's more than just reading it. I, I can read it all day long, but if I don't allow it to work on me, then the Word of God is invalid in my life. i got to allow the Word of God to, to work on me, to change me, to convict me, to, to condemn me, uh, to change, to repent, to, to, to be what God wants us to be. And if you got the Word of God in your life, then, then you're being connected. You're getting that spiritual the vitamins that you need as a child of God to be what you need to be on this earth. But if you're not connected to the Word of God, well, first of all, if you're not talking to the Word of God, to talking to God, and you're not connected to the Word of God, you don't have the Word of God in your life, then you can't be a beautiful rose or a beautiful vessel or whatever God needs you to be on this earth. You're going to be dead, old, old dried and and wilted and and really no good for nothing unless you're starting a fire. And uh, and uh, we. We need the Word of God. The Bible says, Jesus said unto the Jews, in John chapter 8, verse 31, Jesus said unto the Jews, which believed on Him, If you continue in My Word, you are My disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. We've got to continue in this. We've got to stay in it every day. It's not just one time we pick it up, we read it, or, or one time we, we might have read a scripture. It's every day, every day, folks, every day you're living for God comes back to what the name of this Bible program is. Back to basic. Uh, that's why I try to... Uh, it's every day living for God, folks. We've got to live for God every day. Uh, if we follow His Word and obey it, and uh, we can be His child. But if we don't, you're not going to be a part of the kingdom of God. You're not going to be connected. You're going to be like this little fellow here. Just, all, just there. Not a part of it, but close to it. That's all you're going to be. Uh, I want to be a part of the kingdom of God. I want to be a part of the things that God has in store. I want to be a part of Jesus Christ. I want to be a part of heaven. I want to be a part of all the bliss that God has set aside for us to obtain. I can't do it if I don't talk to God, and I can't do it if I don't read the Word of God. And uh, if we obey the Word of God uh, and follow the Word of God, then we can be a child of God. But if not, then we're not, we're not going to be, God's not going to be our leader. He's not going to be our Savior. He's not going to be uh, anything to us. Great apostle, or excuse me, the great psalmist David wrote in Psalms 119, 105, the longest chapter in the Bible, wrote a very, very, uh, very uh, impacting scripture that should be in our life. The word, of the, the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. See the word of God. It's more, when we're connected to God, it shows us the direction we need to go. It shows us what way we need to walk. It shows us how to conduct our lives as a child of God. 
But more importantly, uh, we could go this route too. If you, uh, we can veer off this way for a second. But not only that, the Word of God can teach you to be a good person. It can teach you to have good moral standings with this, uh, with society. It can teach you integrity. It can teach you to be faithful, committed. It can teach us all kinds of stuff. Not just how to have salvation. Not just to be what God wants us to be. But it can teach us all kinds of stuff. Only if we're connected. We've got to stay connected. The Word of God gives us direction. And uh, we need direction in our life. Uh, we're, we're like a bunch of sheep getting ready to go to the slaughter. We're, we're running here, there, yonder, and everywhere. And, and the Word of God harnesses our direction and puts us on our straight and narrow. It puts us on the path that we need to take. It puts us where we need to be for Jesus Christ. Uh, only if we read it. Only if we allow it to work on us. And only if we allow it to, uh, uh, to be a part of our daily walking with God. Because it comes back to this. I, I'll say this. It, it's not how we think. It's not how we feel. It's not, uh, not what, we, we, what we feel. It's what the Word of God says. Uh, got to understand, one thing about the Word of God, when we stand before God on the end of judgment, or in the judgment, when we stand before God, guess where He's going to judge us from? He's going to judge us according to His Scripture. He's going to judge us according to everything that we read, everything that we studied, everything that we obeyed, and more importantly, everything that we disobeyed. That's how he's going to judge us. So it's imperative that we read and study the Scriptures. It's imperative that we know where we're at if Jesus Christ comes back, standing on the Scriptures. Judges chapter 2, verse 16 says, Nevertheless, the Lord shall raise up judges which shall deliver them out of the hand of those that spoiled them, that they would not hearken unto the judges, but they went whoring after other gods, bowed themselves unto them, and then, quickly er, and then turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in, obeying the command, this, uh, uh, obeying the commandments of the Lord, but they did not so. See, uh, we need the word of God because if not, we're going to veer off. We're going to do our own thing. We're not going to, we're not going to follow after our forefathers. They passed this word of God down to us. And, uh, and that's what's wrong with our society now. They're doing away with the Word of God. They're doing away with their only connected source to Jesus Christ. They're, they're taking it out of schools. Uh, uh, and I'll say this, uh, way before it was ever out of schools, it was took out of the home. Because if it would have been in the home, then it would have still been in the school. That's my personal opinion. If you're under a different uh, opinion, then God bless you. But I feel that it was took out of the home first. The parents never taught it, never trained it. Uh, and then it was took out of the, the homes because the, the, the parents said it wasn't a valuable asset anymore. Uh, just about two months ago on Fox News, uh, I heard now it's, uh, and you can Google it if you got internet, uh, re, uh, and I'm not lying to you, you can Google it, look it up. It's in one of the top ten books to be took out of the American, uh, out of the library. Uh, the American Library Association is trying to pull it, ban it from libraries. Uh, we need the Word of God. We wonder why our country's in the shape it's in. We wonder why our homes are in the shape it's in. We wonder why, know why society's in the shape it's in. Because we're not being connected anymore. We're cutting off the life support of, uh, of being connected to God. We're cutting off of our very life source. And if we don't have Him, and we don't have His Word, then we're going to die spiritually. Simple fact. And as I look at our culture, as I look at this great nation that we live in, I think it's dying spiritually. We as children of God... We need to make sure that we stay connected because if we're not connected, we're going to be like this little guy here and we're going to die. We're not, we're not going to be a part of God's kingdom and we can't, we, can't, uh, we can't do that. The Bible says in 1 Peter 1 22, seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit. Where's the truth in the Spirit come from? When we talk to God, when we read God's Word. You want to know what truth is? This is truth. The Word of God is true. It says, sanctify thy truth, or sanctify thyself through thy truth, thy Word is truth. John tells us that. We, you want to know what truth is? Right here. Don't go with what everybody thinks or how they feel. What does the Word of God say? What does the Bible say to you? What does the Bible say to me? If we don't follow it, we're not being connected. If we don't stay connected to Jesus Christ, we're going to die spiritually. We have to stay in the Word of God. That's the only place we're going to find the truth. If we don't, we don't read and search and, and dig and pry and, and, and understand these things, then we're, we're not going to make heaven our home. It's a simple fact. We're going to not know what God expects of us. We're going to, not going to know the plan of salvation. We're going to not know what God needs us or wants us to do on this earth. Uh, so we've got to get our face in the book, people. We've got to study it. Uh, that's the only way. Timothy, study to show that self approved you got to study it daily. Daily. If you're going to stay connected to Jesus Christ, you better study your Word of God. We need to keep our noses in the book and study and, and make sure that uh, we're applying it to our lives. And studying is more than one or two minutes. Sometimes it, it, it's, a, it's a long process when you read and study. 
uh, especially when we're taking the uh, especially when we're taking the word of God and applying it to our lives to be connected to Jesus Christ. Just don't take a scripture and say, okay, one scripture uh, is all I need. Sometimes it takes this scripture. Sometimes you got to go connect it to this scripture. Sometimes you got to bring it back and connect it to this scripture and understand what is God trying to tell me. What is what is the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, trying to? Uh, make me understand or what is he trying to have me do in my life uh, so we need the word of God we need the word of God in our life uh, the first thing uh, to be connected to have the life life in us as a child of God we've got to have prayer second thing is you got to have the word of God without the word of God it, it, it's 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 invalid it, it's we're going to lose out uh, with him the next thing is we've got to have God's love Without God's love, without being connected to God's love, then we have no hope for tomorrow. We have no future hope for heaven. We have no hope for obtaining heaven. We have no hope for being what God wants us to be. we got to have the love of God in us. The Bible says in John 15 and uh, 15 and 10, it says, uh, if, you, if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments, abide in His love. We must stay in the love of God. How do we do that? Obey the commandments of God. Obey the teachings of God. Obey the prayers that we have in God. Obeying God. We show God that we need Him. When we obey God, we're staying connected. When, when we obey God, we're showing God that we need His love. We must stay in the love of God. We must stay in, in love with God. <clears throat> if you lose your love for God, then you're losing your connected source. If things that, 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 that once loved in... Uh, you, once you come to God and you love and it's not valid anymore and it don't seem, then we're losing. We've been cut. We need to go back and see where, where that, that cut is and see where we're losing uh, that connection to Jesus Christ. Because if we don't stay connected to His love and we don't stay in love with God, then the things of this world is going to take its place. And a lot of times, I hate to say this, sadly, probably 90% of the world's problem is that. They're more connected to the things of this world than they are God, and they can't figure out why they have problems. It's because we're connected, but we're connected to the wrong source. We've got to be connected to Jesus Christ, folks. We've got to be connected to the Word of God. We've got to be connected to His love. And, we, and we've got to be connected to, uh, to being in love with God. When we're in love with God, we want to stay connected. Up. If we love God, we're going to show it through our through our attitudes. We're going to show it through our actions. Uh, we're going to show it to others when we come in contact along the way. Uh, Hebrews chapter 13 says, Let love for your fellow believers continue. See, if, if we're going to be connected to God, we're going to let love show. We're going to, not only to God, but we're going to show it to others as well. We're going to show others that, hey, Jesus Christ is the most important thing. And that's what it's about. When we're connected to God, we're showing others that we need Him. When we're connected, we're showing God that we need His love. We're showing God that we need Him. And uh, I need Him. I don't know about you. I can't do anything without Him. And if I don't allow Him to work on me through His Word, I'm not going to bring forth fruit. See, the Bible says he that pur uh, he, uh, if, we're, if we're connected, we've got to allow Him to purge us got to allow him to get rid of that junk. If I love him, I'm going to allow him to work on my life. If I love him, I'm going to allow him to come into my heart to uh, clip clip the dead out, clip the things out of my life that are sin, clip things out that's contrary to the Word of God so I can grow spiritually, so I can be a child of God. And uh, I, I need God's love, but more importantly, i got to love God. I gotta have a love for the truth. I gotta have a love for God. I gotta have a love for His Word. I gotta have a love for spending time with Him in prayer. If I don't have a love for that, then my connection's been snipped, and my connection uh, that I have in Jesus Christ, and I'm gonna be like this little guy. I'm gonna die. If you don't love God, you're gonna die spiritually. If you don't love His Word, you're gonna die spiritually. If you don't love talking to God, you're dying spiritually. I, you can't get any plainer than that. So it's real important that we that we get connected to God. We've got to show forth love to Jesus Christ every day. He showed us His love as He died on the cross of Calvary. He shows us His love every day that when we screw up and we sin and we mess up and we come back and ask Him to forgive us, He forgives us. That's that's He's showing us love back. He's showing us, he's showing us the greatest compassion ever. Uh, so why can't we show that same love back to Him? Why can't we stay connected enough that, God, whatever you love, I want to love. Whatever you think's right, I want to make sure it's right. Whatever you want in my life, I want to make sure that's what I need. See, when we do that, we're showing the, not only God that we're connected, but also we're showing the world, folks. We're showing other Christians that we need God. Uh, We've got to have talk to God. 
to be connected to God, we've got to have His Word. We've got to have His love both ways, Him loving us, which He already does, but us loving Him back. And, of course, love the others. If we don't have this in our life, we're not showing, we're not really connected to Jesus Christ. The next thing is, it's faith. If you don't have faith, you're not connected to God. If you don't have faith in your life, you're going to lose out with God because the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Without faith, it's impossible to believe the Word of God. Without faith, it's possible to believe in Calvary. Without faith, it's possible to believe, believe that God loves us. Without faith, it's impossible to talk to God because we won't, know we won't answer back. Without faith, we've got to have faith. We've got to stay connected to the Word of God, which causes us to have faith in Him, have faith in God. And we have faith in God. It doesn't matter what this world says. It doesn't matter what this world does. It doesn't matter what society says. It's, but it comes back to... Hey, I could be pleasing God. I could be what God wants me to be because I'm connected to Him. And uh, a lot of times uh, uh, we, we lose our faith in God. Don't lose our faith in God. If we lose our faith in God, we're losing our connection to God. We're losing that only connection we got to plug into our lifeline. We need to have faith in God, no matter what. Don't have faith in men. Uh, the Bible says uh, in Proverbs, trust not in men, trust not in chariots, trust not in governments, trust not... The whole list he goes through, then trust not in... But he said, trust in the Lord at all times. we got to trust in God, no matter what. we got to believe in God, no matter what. And what we do, we're staying connected. But if we allow something to creep in there to cause us to doubt, to, to have a little fear, to have a little waver, to give up. We're losing that connection. We're losing that life source. And if we're going to make heaven our home, we've got to have a life source. We've got to have f uh, faith in God. Matthew 6 and 30 says, Oh, you have little faith. A lot of times we're that way. Oh, we believe God for anything when it's for someone else. But when it comes to us, sometimes it's hard uh, to believe God. But we've got to have faith in God. Faith that he, He's God. Faith that He knows what He's doing. Faith that He'll take us through. But if we don't have that, then we're losing our life source. We're, we're losing that connection. And, of course, faith gives us access to God. If we believe in Him, then we're going to show it by our love. We're going to show it by reading His Word. We're going to show it to Him by talking to Him. All this works together hand in glove. Hand in glove. You can't have one without the other. But a lot of times, a lot of times we lose our faith. We, we lose that that God has given us because we, we falter, we, we waver. But, but if we're going to stay connected, there's, I, can go on, I can go into all kinds of stuff on being connected. Hours and hours. We could talk about, uh, we could talk about uh, uh, the being connected through salvation. We could talk about the doctrines of Christ. We could talk about uh, all kinds of stuff. But if we're going to be connected, first of all, uh, I think the basic, and that's what we want to talk about. I think the basic is you got to talk to God. If you want to stay connected to the life source, you better talk to him. If you're going to stay connected, you better read his word, study his word, understand his word, and allow that word to purge our hearts so we can bring forth not just fruit, but much fruit. The next thing is we we got to have a relationship of faith with God. we got to have that relationship that we understand that's going to take us from this life to the next life. Take us from this life to the life after. And that's what we're working on to obtain. We want to go to heaven. Hopefully you want to go to heaven. So if you want to go to heaven, you got to be connected. Now, I don't see anywhere in the Word of God that you can make heaven your home without being connected to Jesus Christ. But I see everywhere I read, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. If you read the Word, you study the Word. Uh, if you have faith in God, you can, you can make heaven your home. I see all this. So we've got to be connected to God. If you want to be like this guy, just keep living our lives the way we are. Then we'll die spiritually. But if you want to live forever, you want to have a place that He's going to prepare for us, if you want to go to heaven, stay connected to Jesus Christ. Stay connected to by talking. Stay connected by reading. Stay connected by having faith. Stay connected by, by but just loving God and having His love in you. So the question of the hour is, are you connected to God? If you're connected to God, you're going to be bright, you're going to be fruitful and bring forth all kinds of stuff that that uh, God wants. But if you're not connected, then you're going to die. You're going to be like this little thing here. You're going to die spiritually. So I encourage you to get connected, but more importantly, to stay connected in Jesus Christ.